I picked this rock for the 12th day of Rocksmith because it can stand up on its own. It does have a few bumps and holes, so I'm going to use my trick of putting some spackle to smooth out the rock, and I'm going to let this dry. It starts out purple, and then when it turns white, you know it has dried, and then I'm going to buff it smooth with my nail buffer and then give it a coat of Mod Podge to secure the spackle in place. And I will link in the description, I have a whole video that goes over this process and why I do it. And I will link that in the description in case you wanna check it out. I cannot believe we made it to the 12th day of Rocksmiths. I'm kind of excited and I'm also kind of sad. This is my second year doing it. And last year I swore I would start sooner. And I think I started thinking about it sooner and thinking about my ideas, but I don't think I started filming and editing sooner. So it has been a little crazy around here because this is the equivalent of putting out about three months worth of content in 12 days because I usually do one video a week and maybe a bonus video. But it has been a lot of fun and I have really enjoyed getting to do the premieres with you live and get to chat with you as the video rolls out for the first time. So as we're coming to a close, I just want to say thank you for being here and let's get painting this design. We've got a nice gesso base coat and now I'm going to use this antique parchment paint and these beautiful gold sparkle Ayuli watercolors. The antique parchment is just a very slight off-white color. I didn't want to do bright white. I wanted something slightly off-white, kind of a cream color to pick up on the gold hues in the metallic watercolors. I was seeing some brush lines. So I wanted to take this kind of spongy dauber and a, it was a little bit too wet to begin with. That's why you see some of the moisture building up, but this kind of makes those brush lines get nice and smoothed out. If you found a skincare product that does this, please send it to me. I want to make sure this is nice and dry before I do anything else on it, so I set it in front of a fan for probably about 15 minutes before I move on to this next step. I'm going to use that spongy dauber again to trace three uniform circles onto my rock, and I'm using the punch tool that you saw in some of the other videos over the last 12 days because I don't want to use the chalk pencil because I won't have the ability to wipe it off the way that I did on the Santorini stones or any other ones because I'm going to be using the metallic watercolors and any kind of wiping or damp paper towel is going to remove the metallic watercolors. So I'm just kind of scoring the circle into the paint, I guess, to give myself a guide, but without any kind of color or pigment. So hopefully you can see that it's very light, but that was my intention. I didn't want to use the chalk pencils on this one. Before we get to the sparkles, I'm going to use a Posca PC 1MR black paint pen to create the strings that my ornaments are gonna hang from, but they're also going to say things. So I'm using a very kind of leaning script, I guess, um, very flowy so that it can have a straight line on either end of it because these ornaments are gonna be hanging down from the top of the rock. Now for my favorite part, the sparkles. I'm putting some drops of water onto my watercolor dot cards just to loosen the pigment. I let that sit for a few minutes and then it's nice and loose and then we can just go to town and watch this sparkle, give you all the therapy you need for the rest of the year. <laughs> just kidding. it's the 12th day of Rocksmiths and my brain is a little fried. I forgot to hit record when I started doing the copper colored ornament. So you're just getting the tail end of it. I want to make sure the outline on the rock has a really nice bright glittery outline. So I'm going to use this glitterific glitter paint from Folk Art. I thought about doing the watercolor, but I was a little worried about how it would handle the bumps in the rock. So I, I know this stuff holds up. It's almost like a glue. So I decided to use this. It's very pretty, very sparkly, and the rose gold is the perfect 
glitter color to pick up on these three ornaments. this part of the ornament is called either but I knew that these ornaments needed the little hanger piece on the top of the bulb so last vocabulary fail for the 12 days of rocksmith but I'm gonna say that this design was a smashing success I love how sparkly it is and how simple and just delicate it's perfect for Christmas I hope you give it a try too even if you don't have the watercolors I know I've brought some of you over to the sparkle side and you have glitter paints you guys we made it to the end and I'm so glad that you went on this little 12 day journey with me even though we're coming to a close with this it's still early enough in the season to paint lots of holiday themed rocks I promise I'll only hibernate for like a week thanks for being here and take care